for your efforts. I will ponder the nature of your payment while you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate, and your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called The Last Round. Sabat chased you in here, Cammy. I'm Danzel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass! Lunatic. I give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do-girl for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearers gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Jester? What? What the hell did you say? Hold on. You're Malkavian, right? Oh, you doubly screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince's bitch. Little pawn, you said? Yeah, you got that right. Maybe you're not as crazy as you look. Huh? How did... Damn. Malkavians and a goddamn insight. That shit is creepy. Anyway, yeah. My name is Skelter. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? Whatever, man. I choose not to submit. I signed away my rights once, and it landed my ass in a Southeast Asian jungle with nothing but an M60 and a shitload of questions. 
Now I'm dead and the real hell starts. I'll be dust before I roll over and take it again. You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel, that blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your elders command the blood, they control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call, but the blood will, and it'll make you obey. That shit stretches all the way back to Cain, man. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, sister. Keep your voice down. Is Cain real? I don't know. Not sure I want to know. The point is... With this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. And they're in the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bid or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. I got their meeting right here. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, 
Don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the camera is full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because the speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists, and put your weight into your punches. You poor bastard. Listen, L.A.'s the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Well, well, looky who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Well, if you're cool with that treatment, you'll make a great Camarilla. They love pussies. <laughs> I'm just saying... That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Cause Prince LaCroix said so. Cause he never thought you'd make it back! If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would've been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. It's bullshit Camarilla law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Ventura were born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. 